Hi, I'm Lou, another episode of My Car Story. We're here in Michigan. We're getting ready for a Canadian muscle car show. And since we're going to be doing that, Chris, I'm here with you. What's your last name? Poynton. Poynton. Hi, me, and, me and Chris, and Chris is actually from Canada. Yes. An original Canadian. And we're going to be videoing his car. This is not a Chevy car. You'll see what we're talking about. So let me grab the cameras. I usually do. Thank you, Joey. And uh, Chris, how'd you end up with this car? Well, it came to me in 1997 as a roller. Yeah. And uh, I decided to hot rod it. It still looks basically stock, but underneath it's all hot rodded, full frame, uh, nine inch Ford, short and rear end. People think you have a Chevy too, but what do you have? I have an Acadian Canso Sport Deluxe. Acadian Canso Sport Deluxe, which the Sport Deluxe really is like the SS version. Yes. Let's go right to the main attraction. Come on back with me. Yep, it looks like a Chevy too, but as you can see, if you're really paying attention, it's not. And let me show you some of the obvious features, such as the centerpiece with a big A and some Canadian flags there and the word Acadian. Now, Chris, how many of these Chevy 2 look-alike cars do you think are still out there? Maybe 10. Maybe 10. So with that being said, and this is, come on with me, and this is the SS version. How many of the Super, del, what do they call it? Sport, Sport Deluxe. Sport Deluxe. How many Sport Deluxes do you think are out there? Oh, maybe six or eight. Six. Not all on the road though. Not all on the road. Some of the unique venting in the front as you can see and uh, he shared that he hot rodded it a little bit but kept it really looking like it did in the day a little v8 emblem the wonderful mirrors come on back now the the canso emblem that we have here and the sport deluxe this is the kind of higher end version. What was the lower end version? It was called an Invader. An Invader. So there's the Invader, the Canso, and then the Canso Sport Deluxe, or so to speak, SS, as us that's, as us Americans <laughs> are used to. Let's take a look at the back. It has almost a Ford Fairlane kind of look to it in the taillights. And it taillights in the bumper. As you can see, and there's that Sport Deluxe again. Just like so. And the Acadian there, the unique emblem. As you can see, the Hearst equipped was an add on. Yes. But the unique tail lights. All right, let me have you open it up, open the door. Okay. We'll take a look at the interior. How long, how many, first of all, how long have you had it? I bought it in 1997. And how long did it take you to restore <laughs> it to look like this? This is great. About eight years. Eight years to restore. And the interior is splendid. Now it has a different center cap, usually on the regular seat, as you can see. We've got a four speed, but you're getting a real good flavor. I'm gonna jump in it for just a second. You're getting a real good flavor for what it used to look like there. And I like to kind of make people, give them a little bit of a history lesson. So here's some details that you can potentially pause on. And here was the original 66 build sheet. Build sheet. Well, that's the build sheet, but this is the, the oh, owner's, right. owner's manual. Yes. Now there's the high end right there. Uh, the Sport Deluxe usually had some chrome across there. But you can see, sorry that I'm juggling that. And I'll let people kind of take in all of the words where they can pause and stop if they want to. The Cano version. I guess if you want to read it, you can read it that way. All new from profile to personality. And page two, the four-door version. The Canso and all of the details there. And again, I'll let you read it this way to this way. 
This is so unique that I want you to see the actual details of that 66 brochure. So you can read those according. And enjoy this that you're just not going to see because there's just too few of them around. And we've got a couple of additional pages. I'll take my time to get to those. There's one more page in there. Sorry, it's taking me a little longer than expected. There we go. The wagon. And the details there. Again, you can pause on any of that to read through the details for those of you who love that kind of stuff. And the last two sheets, the, the features at no additional cost, as you can read. I'll let you enjoy all that. to give you the flavor of your Canadian muscle car. And the last page, which gives you specifications. Like so, the General Motors Products of Canada and the information there on the engine, absolutely. Spectacular. Let's take a look at the engine. Speaking of engine, we're going to keep the door open because we're going to give you a sound of that in a second. Oh, that looks sweet. What do we have here, Chris? We have a 355 small block. It's out 30 thou. It's, uh, what kind of horsepower did I put on? About 400. How do you feel about that? Well, it's, it's stout. It, uh, it's stout. It handles itself well. <laughs> it handles itself well. The original tag on the firewall. Yeah. But you've rebuilt the whole front end going yes. forward. Yeah. So, so this is not what the normal. No, we would have had shock towers. Uh, shock towers and normal stuff. Struts. For greens, let's turn it on. Let's just hear what this sounds like. <clears throat> and rumbly. Let me get just a little exhaust sound. Yeah, that sounds like a nice GM product. Go ahead, shut it off. Come on out. Let's shut the door. Let's shut the hood. Let's have you stand right next to it. Hey, Chris, thanks for bringing your car from Canada down to the States, and we look forward to a great time. Thanks for being on My Car Story. Thanks, Luke. Appreciate it.